please. Okay, you and Tree, you guys can trust me. Me and that boy trust a little bit differently. Get the fuck in the car. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modai J and we're locked in. Now, there was a lot of speculation on what actually happened to Lauren. Now, it took a little bit of digging and we went back and I actually got sent this clip. And on the official Instagram post, they actually put up a RIP to Lauren in 2022. So what it's looking like is when Effie took her from Braden, she actually killed Lauren. Now, we're going to jump into this and break this down to give us a prediction and an idea of what's going to happen into season three. But before we do, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me on Instagram right here. Now, this is interesting because with everything going on in the dope game, we know that we have a body on our hands. And if we look back at the trailer, We've seen something about Effie, and I'm about to jump into that and show you guys what I think. And I want to know how Tariq and Brayden are going to play this out because now they got a murder on them, and we know that they're going to be working on Wall Street. That's a lot of stuff to be a 19 year old. Looking back at the trailer for season three, it's starting to make a little bit of sense. Now, we were wondering who the heck is Effie running from? Now, it did look like it's a white gentleman getting out of that, and I thought it could either be Brayden or it could be Detective Whitman. You remember Detective Whitman? Yeah, the one that was talking to Carrie trying to figure out the murder. Well, if we see Effie running from this, my speculation is she's running because the cops are starting to get on to the trail of what happened to Lauren. Lauren is missing. Her parents had a lot of power within the city. So this is gonna lead to the detective trying to dig a little bit more into it. Tariq and them just got off the case of having all the dope inside of the school. Tariq told Brayden to get Lauren about the city. Effie got Lauren away from Brayden. Effie killed Lauren, went back to Tariq's house. So when you start connecting all the dots, Detective Whitman, he's looking at it from the outside. Hmm, I need to question Effie because he could have did any kind of searching. Seen that her phone ping, she's been hanging around Tariq and Brayden. So it's getting a little scary in the walls. Look like they're going to be closing in on everybody, specifically Effie, when we go into season three. And this is interesting to see how it plays out, because the whole time we know that Effie has already told on Tariq, got him kicked out of school. Effie got rid of Lauren because she didn't think that Lauren was built for any of this. Now, Effie moved into Tariq's main woman. Diana was a little bit upset about this and jealous. So Effie, she has a lot going on. She even allowed Tariq to move in her brother's apartment. So she's gonna have to keep this under wraps until the information comes out. Because you remember, she never told Tariq what happened. She just showed up. Brayden was supposed to get Lauren out the city and protect her. So Tariq doesn't know what's going on at this point. The bad thing about Tariq not knowing this is he's starting to bring Effie around everybody. You remember, Effie is now the middle woman between Tariq and Monet. Monet needs Tariq because they don't have any connect. And now she knows Kane. All this information is getting spread out amongst everybody. Just like the YSL situation, the less people that commit a crime, the less people that are going to know anything about it. Now, Effie, she can use this against Tariq and Brayden. That's why I want to know how is Tariq and Brayden going to play this? Are they going to come together in season three to go ahead and X Effie out the situation? It could be the same thing that Tariq was doing with Brayden with Sax and Eats. Hey, you don't need to be around her. That's going to be bad and it could play out bad for us. So could Brayden be the one that admits to Tariq? Oh, Lauren's been missing because Effie took her from me. And now he's telling Tariq, you need to stay away from Effie. We seen what they did when they went into court. What happened? Brayden took the stand and said, oh, Tariq wasn't doing any of that because he was looking out for him. Now, if these two come together, they could blame it on Effie and say, Tariq was just trying to get Lauren out the city. Effie came with a gun, threatened Brayden, took Lauren, and we don't know what happened. So these two could come together and make that work, or we could see how it plays out and Effie uses this information against them. Now this leads us to Tariq and how he's gonna play it out come season three. Now, him and Lauren, they didn't really hit it off in the beginning, but you can see that they were interested in each other and we see that it also led to them getting together. So for Tariq, 
this is going to really hurt his spirit his soul when he finds out that lauren is missing especially after he told his best friend brayden to make sure she's safe now since effie's in the way blinding him with her love when he finds out this is probably going to hurt to reap the most i don't know how he's going to react from this but what i'm hoping is Tariq doesn't try to take things into his own hands and he does things the legit way working through Davis, Braden and him trying to set up Effie. I don't know because you know how it is when you have a broken heart. Tariq, he can get emotional and he can go out there and start doing things without thinking it through. We already know what Effie's plan is. Effie's plan was to get Tariq out of the situation so she could take over the game. Effie's plan is to get rid of Lauren so she can get right next to Tariq. And I even mentioned it in season two that Effie seems like she's trying to get right next to Tariq in case things go wrong. She can eventually take over the whole operation and run things. Now, you remember, she goes to a whole different college. So coming here and knowing how the operation runs with Brayden and Tariq, this allows her through the front door. Tariq's been staying at the place. It's going to be wild how all of this plays out. Because at this point, we don't know what Effie is going to do. Yeah, there's a speculation about her brother and who he was. Is she connected to Mecca? We don't know. We don't know at this point. But Effie, she's in it for herself. And that's what I'm going to stick to. And that leads us to Brayden and Tariq. Now, Brayden and Tariq, they had their ups and downs. There's been a roller coaster between these two. Tariq bought Brayden in. Brayden volunteered to stay in the game. He trusted Brayden to make sure that Lauren was safe. Now, he did take the stand to get Tariq out of all this nonsense. He also told Brayden earlier in the season not to hang around Kane, but he continued to do it. So if Brayden is the one that's going to present this information that Effie took Lauren and Lauren ended up dead, this is really going to hurt Tariq and it's going to divide them two even more. We know that these two are supposedly going to be on Wall Street doing some interning. So... With all of this going on with the Tejadas, and then you finding out that the girl that you love was killed because your best friend didn't take care of the situation like he was supposed to, I don't know what direction this is going to lead them into. Now, what I'm thinking is with Brayden, he's not going to admit to any of this. I'm thinking Effie is just going to be the one that gets caught for it, and Brayden's going to say, hey, man, it happened, it happened. So I don't know how Brayden and Tariq are going to get through this besides setting up Effie. That's if. Brayden is able to come clean and tell Tariq, this is what actually happened. I didn't get Lauren out the city like he wanted me to, and Effie took her from me. All right, let me know what you think. Since we know Lauren is officially dead, is Effie going to use this information to turn it against Tariq and Brayden, or is Detective Whitman and the police going to come and get her? I'm thinking if the police get Effie, she's not going to snitch or anything. That's not her character. Even though she is conniving as something like this, she might give a little bit of information but I don't think she's gonna actually get Tariq and them locked up. Or do you think on the other hand, Brayden is gonna tell Tariq about this and Tariq might take things into his own hands or they come together to make up a plan to get Effie out of the picture and they move forward with the Tejadas. Let me know what you think. I'm Odai J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'm out.